we are so grateful to God because by His grace we are surviving, we are doing well. We have also the challenge posed by the coronavirus, as you know, all over the world. We too here are affected, and especially in my area. There are few people who have been uh, tested positive, and that has really brought about great challenges. We used to meet a few people in the church, at least not more than 15 past one service, but we've been forced to stop everything. Now we are trying at least to reach out through Zoom, but we have very few, maybe four families who are able to watch and be with us in a fellowship through Zooming or Zoom. Otherwise, many other families are not able to engage in church service in any way. And so that's one big thing we would need prayers for so that at least God willing, uh, this thing about the virus will, be, uh, will come to an end so that we can continue with service and all that. Otherwise, we also know that you have the same challenges, but we continue to pray for you too. Another thing is that uh, uh, since this coronavirus has come and with these challenges, many things have cropped up, such as many families can't even put anything on the table. We don't know even when schools get open. We don't know how children will be able to go back to school, but it's a prayer we need. Pray for us as we pray for you so that we see our kids go back to school because they are missing school, they are missing Sunday school. And you know how important it is to rear kids in Christ, even from the tender age. Otherwise, pray for us as a, we look forward to see that this, um, or these rules are you know, lifted so that we can go back to church service, Sunday schools, back to school, and so that people can go back to work. One incident I would want you to think and pray about. I, I saw one mom who decided to go to the river to get sand so that she can sell without thinking that the river was flooding and even a child could drown, whereby I had to intervene and just bring her back home because they had nothing to eat, nothing, they had nothing to depend on. But otherwise, by God's grace, the Lord provided for the little that they could be able to use. And uh, so it's a challenge. And uh, we know you also go through challenges. Otherwise, God bless you as you pray for us and we pray for you. The church here is going on well by, his, by the grace of God. Otherwise, may God bless you, church in America. May God bless you, pastors. And may God, God keep you blessed and safe. Hi, Calvary Chapel. We are Hector. Caitlin. And Talia. Sending you greetings from Guatemala. We are so grateful for Calvary Chapel's support and want to give you a quick update about our work here. In the indigenous Achi community where we live, we are discipling young people, uh, equipping them for ministry here in their own communities and with a vision to participate in the spread of the gospel all over the world, but coronavirus has thrown a wrench in so many of our plans this year, like many of yours, I'm sure. We have been sheltering in place since mid-March here, and uh, we canceled a big missions event that we were working towards in April. So we've just been trying to overcome the obstacles involved in doing ministry in a very face-to-face -face culture with social distancing. So most of the people in the village where we live do not have internet in their homes and they don't have the financial resources to buy like large internet packets for their cell phones to be able to do uh, video calls or use apps like Zoom. So we would love your prayers for creative ideas and pathways to continue connecting deeply and discipling people during this time. We have been sharing with our neighbors and friends to help them understand even what a virus is what germs are, how a virus gets spread, and why they need to follow the hygiene guidelines and social distancing. And we see that as a part of loving our neighbors as ourselves and caring for our community during this time. There are 25 about cases of coronavirus so far in our village, and we're just praying for God's mercy and help so that it doesn't get out of control here. Uh, 
Earlier this month in May, I did something that some of you students have been doing lately, which is I graduated with my master's degree. That was a six year undertaking and gave us so many tools that we're excited to implement here in ministry. So praise the Lord for that. Um, we're sure that so many of your jobs and plans and expectations for this year have changed as well. So we're praying for God's peace, for his clear guidance in your families, and for his joy during this time. Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hi, everyone. We are Mark and Laura Woodward. Uh, we're working with Wycliffe Bible Translators, normally in Tanzania. Uh, currently in the UK and we have a few things we'd love for you to pray with us about. Yeah, if you could pray for us for a new house. We're looking for a house to rent in the UK and with the lockdown it's been hard to get out and view houses and um, travel distances to go to see them. Um, so yeah, we're really hoping that some of the leads that we found on these houses um, will be able to move forward with them and find a good place where we can get into a community and meet our neighbors and start feeling like we're at home um, somewhere in the country. So we'd appreciate your prayers for that. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. Um, we're, we're continuing to work remotely. Um, we're very much in contact with our colleagues uh, in Tanzania and around the world as they continue uh, with their work. Uh, the situation in Tanzania is quite challenging at the moment because of COVID-19. Um, the, there's been uh, quite a few cases, probably a lot more than the official numbers. And uh, the, the virus has been spreading quite rapidly throughout the country. Um, so Tanzania is in a difficult situation at the moment. Uh, please pray for Tanzania um, as a country um, and that the virus would uh, be able to be uh, contained more. Um, please pray for our colleagues as well. Um, they're, they're working from home. We've closed our offices uh, in Tanzania, so uh, our staff are, as much as possible, continuing with their work from home. Uh, that means translators and uh, other people do, doing various different uh, work. Uh, we have several New Testaments um, that are in the final stages of checking um, before publication, uh, so please pray that that can continue. Uh, some of the staff have challenges at home with no electricity or difficult um, difficulties connecting to the internet. Uh, so please pray that they would be able to continue to work and to do those final checks on the New Testaments and other work that they're doing. And we have some other New Testaments. One is currently being printed in South Korea. Another one is on a ship currently sa um, sailing to Tanzania. And uh, another one is just about to arrive in the port, I think. So uh, we're very excited about all of those and uh, about five or six other New Testaments in the final stages of checking. Um, so, yeah, please continue to pray for Tanzania, pray for uh, our colleagues who are there and other colleagues around the world. And yeah, we really appreciate all that you guys do to pray for us and to support us and to support the work that is happening uh, in Tanzania. Uh, it's a privilege for us to be part of that work and we're really uh, excited that you guys are also uh, um, a part of that as well. So thank you so much for all that you do. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Calvary family. Uh, my name is Tim Rogers and this is my wife, Talisa. And we're here stateside with our daughter, Linda Grace, and waiting to go back to China when the, door, the doors open again. And, uh, and so in the meantime, we've been uh, being busy with a lot of different things, mm -hmm. you know, probably like you guys and, you know, working in different jobs right now. Um, but, um, and also doing classes online through Zoom uh, to try to keep the business sustained. Um, as you might know, uh, where we're located, uh, we have a platform to stay there and it's through, uh, coffee shop bakery and uh, jiu-jitsu studio and they have just started this last few weeks to start classes again and uh, I've been doing a few uh, classes a week with um, the leaders there and uh, students are starting to come back and uh, and so we're just kind of praying <clears throat> right 
like generally speaking just to see it sustained I mean for the last three months or something we it's been closed and it's been a miracle that it's been able to you know still still be open and, mm -hmm. and still functioning so until now God has provided and so we just praise him for that mm -hmm. and so we're just wanting to know maybe our prayer request would be like um, you know I mean things are tight and just to know what to do in this this next couple weeks and month and uh, you know we have uh, people that were paying uh, salary and all that and we know that uh, people have different challenges in this time and so we're just sharing our story and uh, where the Lord has placed us and so we're kind of just uh, waiting for that the doors to open again so we could fly back and be connected again with our people there right 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 I know actually I've been thinking um, over the past few days that I I hope I always remember how bleak this situation is <laughs> Like, like, because when God does a miracle, I hope I just remember, like, how far he carried us, how far he carried the people there and through the situation. And because it just, it just doesn't look good, like, in the sense of if I add up the numbers or if I try to calculate in my head how to keep things going without us being there, you know, it just doesn't add up. But yeah. thankfully, we, we serve a God who is is above my math, ma math ma mathematical equations. Yeah, right? that's right. So I just, <laughs> yeah, so, exactly. so anyways, I just, I, it's nice to see um, the people there in China, you know, rallying together and, and trying to um, use the resources they have to save the community center. And, and I just go, Lord, it's yours. It's yours. It always has been yours. And, and so, but what do you want us to do when we can't do much? That's right. So, um, yeah, that's, that's it. I think um, just our lives are submitted to him. The situation is completely in his hands, and, and um, we'll see what he's going to do. But um, much grace, I think, for everyone involved, that, that through this it would be a testimony of his faith, of his, of, of his faithfulness, of his grace in our, in our lives, in people's lives, and, and people would be in awe of who, who God is, that he would... That no matter what happens, it would just be a testimony of, of His love and grace. Amen. 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 So we just need great wisdom in this season. And so just, we're asking for that. Would you join us in prayer, not only just for provision for uh, our friends back home, but also for His wisdom in the, this, this season. We thank you so much. We love you all. Hope to see you before we head back too. Love you guys. Bye-bye.